Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy, your independent scentsy consultant with Happily Scented Homes. And I'm back today to continue with my prediction series on the spring and summer catalog of 2024. Um, this is the last video in the series, so I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. Um, since we are close to the fall and winter catalog 2023 closing, and we'll soon know what's going to be coming back for the spring and summer catalog of 2024, I wanted to do this prediction video to share with you guys my opinion on what fragrances are going to get the axe, what limited time collections I believe are going to appear in the catalog, and what past sets that have been retired from spring and summer that I hope Scentsy gives us a wild card and offers it up for a catalog season. So I have already done the fruity, the citrus, the fresh, the floral, and the woods, and today we're going to combine both the spice and the bakery category because they are the smallest. Um, so for spice, we do have cinnamon vanilla. I don't believe we're going to be in any type of jeopardy to lose that fragrance um, because Scentsy does need at least one spice, and that is not an aggressive spice fragrance. It's on the lighter side. The vanilla kind of balances it out, and it is popular enough that I do think it's going to carry over. And Welcome Home is just one of those signature scents by Scentsy that I do think that is going to continue as well. It's in a lot of products. We do have it in brick form in club, so I don't think we're in any fear there. Um, now, are there any limited time offerings that were available during the spring and summer catalog last year that were spice that I think are going to carry over? Not really. I mean, spice is not a big category for the spring and summer, so I do think that it's just going to be those two fragrances. Now, bakery. Bakery, they seem to demolish and just are complete savages when it comes to this category. So I've got some opinions and then I've got some suggestions. So baked apple pie, I'm like 50-50 on this one only because the pods are in the clearance section right now. So either that means that the pods just didn't sell well in the baked apple pie fragrance. So Sensi has now put them in clearance to get rid of the stock that they have. Um, but there was, baked, there was Dutch apple bread and I just don't know if that reads as a summer uh, bakery or if they would keep that like in a fall offering so there is a possibility for baked apple pie to get switched out with maybe dutch apple bread because it is on the lighter side but i think there's enough of a following for baked apple pie and it's like an original scent by sensei that i just don't think it will go away i think about 80 percent 75 percent sure that it will continue Blueberry cheesecake, I do believe that's going to continue. There is a following to it. I know there isn't a lot of talk about it on social media. There's not a lot of YouTube videos that show it in halls or in clubs or anything like that because it is offered every season, so there's no reason to club it. Um, but I do think it is going to carry over. Clementine cupcake, I do believe this will continue again. Um, it is one of those lighter bakeries. The clementine isn't very strong. Um, you do get a little bit of sugar. You get a little bit of the cake, cupcake note, but not a lot, not like cutie pie cupcake or anything like that. Um, but I do think it has a high possibility of carrying over. Lemon drizzle cake. Um, that one can just go away forever. Um, I've already said it in one of my fall videos from my prediction series on the bakery that the audacity of Sensi to keep lemon drizzle cake in the catalog for the fall season and give its place and get rid of graham cracker crunch and cinnamon buttercream and bright cider life and all those great bakery scents that we had before it didn't it didn't make sense to me it absolutely did not make sense now lemon drizzle cake does make sense as a springtime bakery but i believe there was a limited time offering that came out during the spring and summer season that will trump lemon drizzle cake and also lemon drizzle cake was a easter collection scent that was retired and then they brought it back to catalog and it's been in the catalog twice now so i think it's pretty much dead at this point um mocha doodle mocha doodle is one of those scents like i said before that sensi just toys with us they're like nope here you can have it nope we're taking it back here you go no we're taking it back here we go no we're taking it back so I honestly don't know 
what they're going to do with Mocha Doodle. I don't know if it's going to be another universal scent or if they're just going to discontinue it for the long haul. I have no idea. Um, I'm like 90% positive that they're going to continue it for spring and summer because it is on the lighter side and there's really no coffee scent or chocolate note. So I think they are going to keep it. Sugar Blossom, it was a new release last year, but it was so decisive. There were so many people that were just upset with the fact that it was labeled as a bakery bar, but it read more floral. To me, it was like sugar dipped flower petals that you would put like as a decoration on a, a wedding cake or something like that. I think that's where Scentsy was trying to go with the fragrance, but it just didn't read well with the general public. So there is a possibility of it returning because it was a new release, so it's almost gearing guaranteed to be in another catalog um but it might not have sold well it might not have sold well enough to you know warrant continuing again and then vanilla bean buttercream i think we're safe with that one um vanilla bean buttercream is always in the catalog it's offered in brick form and club i think we're fine now i do think with lemon drizzle cake i do think it's gonna get cut and in its place, I do believe they're going to put strawberry lemon cake. I really do think the scent of the month for March of 2023 has a high possibility of trumping out lemon drizzle cake. That was a really nice spring bakery. It had the strawberry, it had the lemon, it was on the lighter side. The vanilla bean wasn't as aggressive as it is in vanilla bean buttercream. So I do think that has a high possibility. Now, if that one doesn't come back and they do want to bring back a lemon scented bakery, I think lemon coconut chiffon should come back. I really do. I think they should put that in the springtime, even if it's just for one catalog. I think that would be a really good one. And um, what else? What else? Sugar cookie. I think sugar cookie should be available in the spring and summer catalog. That's another one I think should come back. Um, but that's my opinion on Spice and Bakery. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. In the comments, I'd love to hear what you think is going to get the axe from the Spice and the Bakery categories from the spring catalog of 2023. What limited time offerings do you hope will pop up? And what past sense do you think will make a comeback? Love to hear your thoughts. And as always, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll talk to you in my next video.